It is day three of MSI with coverage brought to you by OnePlus. I'm joined right now by Broken Blade after a uh, an exciting match for him as you guys have qualified into the main stage of the event. So Broken Blade, did you expect it to be that wild? Because I think especially that first game, it got a little messy. Yeah, I mean, the games in G2 are usually wild, right? I think um, we still need to, you know, like calm down a little bit. I think we're very overexcited uh, a lot. Uh, and I'm usually the guy who tries to calm the people down. And in the in the, uh, the Kenny game, I was very, very excited myself. So I was like, oh, I'm down, let's do this, you know, and then it, it backfired, right? Um, so I take uh, responsibility on that, of course, right? Um, I think the game itself, before that happened, was a very clean though. I think we got a really a lot of leads. The dives we pulled off were really, really clean. Um, again, yeah, we did this little, you know, overstep at Nash, and then again, and then we still managed to come back, you know, which is good. I think it's it's a good sign, right, that when you, I think we were kind of outscaled the hand melted and any right uh, in in good positions, and I think we found really good angles. I think the enemies were a bit scared as well. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I think they could have taken initiative you know, and made good plays because. They have really active champions, but they were a bit scared. They were probably thinking that we were going to do another mistake, but we just didn't. Uh, we started playing more calm, more decisive, more, you know, taking the good fights instead of just random fights. Uh, and that's what we basically did game two, and it was just easy. I, I know that a lot of people probably asked you about this, but I haven't heard so far. Uh, is this Doinby rumor that you guys are smashing everybody in scrims true? Um, <laughs> I mean, we're doing very good. Uh, I think... Uh, uh, I mean, I said this before, uh, this roster of G2, or like any other team that I've been on, has been the most winning ever for me. I have never won this many scrims in my whole life uh, on a team. Um, and right now it's going very good uh, still, right? Uh, we are having a very, very good record. Um, this is definitely something that uh, is uh, giving us good morale, right? And good uh, direction of how good we, we can be. Uh, I'm saying can be because... Um, doesn't matter if you win, if in the end we don't win uh, on stage, right? And that happened in uh, spring against my Lions. Uh, I think uh, we're expected to win and we even expected ourselves to win. But maybe because we expected ourselves to win, we played a bit worse, right? And I think that was a good lesson for us that this happened. So we don't really look at uh, results too much. It's more about performance. And I think our team is just very good, very creative people, uh, not only players, but the whole staff. Uh, I think that's also a big reason of why we're winning a lot. And right now, yeah, we're winning a lot as well. We didn't scream against um, the main teams yet that are on the other stage, right? Which makes sense because they're not here. Uh, but once we, we they are here, we're probably going to scream them as well. So, Are none of them here? I thought Cloud9 was already here, but maybe not. Yeah, only Cloud9. And uh, yeah, I think other than that, we didn't scream a single team that is also in the main stage. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so uh, you guys now progress onto the main stage. How confident are you going into that? Because obviously the teams in this part are very different than the teams waiting for you up there. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I mean, I have no idea. Uh, all I know that it's going to be very, very good League of Legends, right? Uh, they are be def definitely the best te teams in the world uh, there. And we want to be one of them. We want to be the best, right? And we will do everything to do so. Um, I think it won't be easy, right? It's never easy to be the best, right? Um, so... We will just keep on going for our routine. I think we have really, really good uh, way of how we do things. Uh, it feels really good going into this international tournament. Even uh, when you do get sick, uh, we're still there. You know, like um, I think our yeah again our staff is smurfing really, really hard with uh, managing uh, times and uh, when we do certain things. Right, uh, really, really valuing our, our time because I feel like when you get into those international tournaments everything is so stressful everything like one lose can be like oh guys uh, what are we doing now or scrims go bad you know it's a lot of stress and I think we can handle really well the stress because we have so many good people and kind-hearted people who would really care for each other and like I mean it's also easy because we win a lot just to be fair right <laughs> we, we, we do win a lot uh, but uh, no matter what challenge there is in, in, in our path, I feel like with the people we have, we can, you know, face it. Yeah. You mentioned getting sick, and this is what you and I were talking about right before the start of this. So on Tuesday afternoon, I realized I couldn't make it over here. I wasn't feeling well, and I ran to the restroom and, and vomited. And I heard, you and I had an interview, and it got canceled from both sides because I heard, was it before or after your match you got sick? Uh, it was when I woke up, I felt like, oh, uh, my belly is like feeling unwell yeah. um, and I thought maybe it's just the nerves but it was weird because I never had 
this kind of a feeling before a game. So I was like, maybe it's just because of MSI, you know. I didn't really feel like the food uh, I ate or something was, was like bad. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll just I'll just do my casual routine, you know. Um, I still f started feeling like uh, not good. I uh, also didn't have appetite, so I was like, wait, I have to eat something. So the moment I ate something, I had to vomit <laughs> as well. Um, and I was feeling really, really bad that day. Um, I, we still won, thankfully, right? It was against Loud. Uh, uh, my teammates also stepped up a lot. I feel like uh, even when I was sick, I, I, I performed uh, that day. Um, but it was a very, very hard day for me. Obviously, I was uh, feeling really weak, like my body was feeling really, really weak. I, at least I didn't vomit more than once. So it was just one time, right? Uh, so, and uh, Isma, our sports psychologist, was taking a really, really good care of me, bringing me a lot of tea. Um, you know, and uh, also I uh, helped me contain my energy. You know, it was very helpful. You, know, you you had it way better than I did. I mean, you had to play, which is rough. But I I was sick all day, um, and so yeah. But even then, I think you know, getting sick before the start of the game must be rough. But you feel better now. Yeah, I feel great now. Um, feel very very great. Um, so also be able to do these interviews, right? Uh, I felt a bit bad not being able to do them yesterday because I I was just not feeling great, right? So happy to do them now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad it worked out well this way because now we both get to do the interview because now. We're both better. So I know this is going around, so we'll see if anybody else gets it. Hopefully nobody else gets it. But uh, other than that, anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Well, uh, definitely a good time now to get on the G2 hype train. Uh, I think uh, now that we're on the main stage, it's going to be very interesting to really, you know, see how good we are. Um, there's obviously always a lot of people criticizing um, non-Asian teams, right? Of like, oh, they won't do anything internationally. Um, but I can tell you guys, if there's a, a shot for us this year, it's going to be this year, uh, at least uh, for me, uh, for my experience, because I feel like again. We just had, like for me, I had the best results ever. Um, so if it is uh, a year, then it's this year, guys. Very good. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you guys can pit forward in the next stage of the tournament. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things MSI right here on my YouTube channel.